bone organs actually serve many different functions. Probably the one that you're thinking of automatically, like, oh, well, of course, bone organs function in support. They keep us able to stand up. They keep us able to kind of support the rest of our organs. That makes complete sense. Kind of, I don't know, support and protection. Bone organs protect our body parts. It's like armor. Think about your skull. It's like armor for your brain. It's brain armor. Think about your ribs. It's armor for your heart and your lungs. If you think about, um, like, your humerus, which is your upper arm bone, that's not really armor. That's, that's, that's serving a different function, but there are many bones that do protect. The humerus is serving a different function. The humerus is involved in movement. So one of the functions of bones is actually movement. And this might be counterintuitive to you because you think of what is the tissue that's involved in movement. We all think of muscle. But think about a muscle. Think about, I mean, muscle tissue is contractile tissue. It shortens. In the act of shortening, it, like, that is movement. But guess what? If it did not have anybody to move when it shortens, there would be no movement. You, you'd have a little twitching, like, thing that would squish, but it actually wouldn't ever be able to stretch back out again, and then it would squish, and what would it move? Like, nothing. It would just get shorter. And since it has bone organs to move in relation to, it actually moves the bone organs themselves, and that's how you start moving anything at all. Our next lesson, after we do all of our bone organs, the next lesson is joints, the places where two bones meet. Well, yeah, we need a muscle to span that joint in order to create the movement at all, but if you didn't have the bone, you would, there would be no movement. You just would shorten. You'd be like a little worm. <sighs> don't be a worm. You don't be a worm. Bone organs also, remember what kind of tissue we saw in the medullary cavity, in the bone marrow, they're involved in hemopoiesis, which is blood building. So, and we already talked about that. All that, all those, um, blood cells that are born in the bone marrow. And then the last one, an important function of bone organs is mineral storage. Mineral storage. And I'm going to say um, homeostasis because, yeah, we're storing minerals. That makes sense, right? What minerals do you think we're storing in the bone organ? Well, probably the first one you think of is calcium, but we're also storing phosphate. I think it's one negative charge. So calcium ions and phosphate ions are stored in the bones, but the bone organ itself is involved in maintaining the proper concentrations of these ions in the blood. And this is concentration. So you've got to have a, a perfect, balance of these, what, minerals in your blood. And the bones play a role, a dynamic role, in making sure that you have the right concentrations of, of minerals in your blood. And if you have too much, let's put it back in the bone. If we have too little, let's get some out of the bone. So yes, storage, but also maintaining homeostasis in the blood. Okay, so our, our, the next section, we're going to talk much more about this little balance act that's going on here and how that makes bones very dynamic. So I bet you want to know all about that, don't you? <laughs>